Velvet Buzzsaw is the third film written and directed by Dan Gilroy. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Renee Russo, and many more, including John Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich, Malkovich? Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich? This movie is weird. Just weird. For the first half, it's a straight drama and critique of art culture. Maybe it's, it's satirical or something, but it's just that for a bit. But also, Jack Gilliall plays a guy named Morph Vanderwalt. Yeah, Morph. But halfway through, it it turns into like a Goosebumps novel where the paintings are haunted or something. It It's just so weird. I, I don't even know how to put this coherently. It's just, the film is so incomprehensible. Okay, so, um... How about performances? Nice and easy. Alright, so John Julie Cool is really good as, um, <laughs> more. <laughs> he really sells the character and makes him very likeable. And you can tell that he came out exactly as Gilroy wanted him. Jam Chilling Cool is really good, and I don't think there's ever been a terrible performance from him. Oh, never mind. Rene Russo is. Eh, there's one scene in the film where Jab Jaffa Cake is really burying his heart out, and she's just sort of like. Mm. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane Ashton is p pretty bad. She really doesn't fit and seems like she really didn't get a lot of direction. Everyone else is fine. Not bad. Actually, it's sort of good sometimes, but just completely serviceable. Nothing special. Uh, also, uh, John Malkovich just sort of plays himself. He's good if he has something to work with, but he's just Malkovich. 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 Uh, oh, by the way, the reason I keep bringing him up is so I can... I'm sure you've figured this out already, but it's just so I can keep playing clips from the restaurant for you know, being John Malkovich. The writing. There's some, uh, okay lines, and there's some... Amazing lines. Something truly goddamn strange is going on! If you know what I mean. I mean mean. Wink. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess it has a tone problem. That is from the script. I... I... Uh, I I've, the direction. Uh, nothing special. Just regular stuff. Gilroy made a film called Nightcrawler five years ago, another film starring Jazz Jacketed, and it's great. Great performances all around, great cinematography and framing choices. So it's a shame to see how the mighty have fallen. Oh, hang on, I, I just got ahead of myself. The cinematography is bland and boring. Again, just nothing interesting or noteworthy. It isn't helped by the bland soap opera cameras either, which are so flat and terrible I just want to cut my eyes out. The visual effects are actually very good for this low budget movie. The unrealism of the monkey arms and other stuff like that can be excused considering how it's mimicking that of a painting. Also, the VFX artists had a lot to work with considering how flat the lighting is. That shouldn't be a compliment. There were no interesting editing choices. Nothing was distracting, which I guess is the best kind of editing. Ah, no. Just nothing really to talk about there. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. Now that I'm finished, I guess that my final score would be a 4 or 5 out of 10. Pro probably a 5. There was some funny stuff, some okay character interactions, and some weird goosebumps shit that was a bit interesting. But the film was very bland cinematography-wise, with most of the performances being very eh, and a lot of filler before the weird goosebumps shit. I would only recommend this movie if you need something to watch at 3am, or if you're a straight girl, a gay boy, or a bi person who likes Jai Julie Cool. Let's get to see his ass. Okay, so, what was the moral of the story here, kids? It's watch Nightcrawler instead.